Hey DIYers, Dylan here with Alarm Grid. Today we're gonna to do a video that's gonna be uh, quite simple. It's gonna review how long is the power cord that comes with the IQ Panel 4. Uh, so when you get the system, it does include a power cord as well as a power transformer. Um, but if you don't wanna use the included power cord, you can also do custom wiring. Uh, so we're gonna review both options for that. Uh, so just to start real quick, we have our IQ Panel 4 here with the included power wire. Uh, so this wire is 10 feet long. Um, <clears throat> 10 feet long, comes with the power transformer. Pretty easy wiring setup. There is a barrel connector that connects to the IQ panel four. Uh, and then there are two screw options for the uh, power supply itself. Uh, now, if you wanna use a different wire, you can use uh, 18 gauge uh, two conductor wire, since there's only two connections on the power supply. Uh, and that is gonna be a maximum of about 98.5 um, feet. So that's gonna give you a much longer run. If you go anything past that length, you're gonna have issues with the power and you're gonna notice issues with the functionality of the Quosis panel. Um, or again, you can just use the included 10 foot uh, power wire that comes with the panel itself. All right, now uh, when you're using the seven volt uh, power supply, for the uh, IQ panel four. Uh, this is a DC power supply, so polarity does matter. If you look at the actual power supply itself, it's fairly simple to tell which is which. It's gonna have a plus icon and a negative icon. So when you're doing your wiring, either with the included wire or the custom wire, just make sure you're following that polarity. Have your positive to the plus and your negative to the uh, minus or the negative symbol. Okay, so we have our IQ4 panel. Currently we have this uh, installed onto a desk mount. Uh, so we're gonna review the length of the included wire, which I'll review right now. The length is uh, 10 feet for the included wire. I'm gonna take the back plate off this so I can show where that's connected, but first we wanna power down the system. So I'll go to the top gray bar, we'll go to settings, advanced settings, doesn't matter which code you put in. I'm, I'm gonna put in the installer code, one, 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 one. And then we have the power down. And we do not want to relaunch the wizard and okay. Okay, lights are off. So now I'm gonna remove the desk mount here. Okay, all right, put that to the side. So when you're using the included wire, uh, this comes with a barrel connector and there is the uh, connection right there. When you're plugging this in, this can be a little sensitive sometimes, so you just wanna be careful. You don't wanna snap it off or break it or anything. And then we have the battery here. Uh, so before I start unplugging this, I'm going to first unplug the battery. That way we have a guarantee there's no power at all going to the system. And I'm gonna unplug the included cable, which again is 10 foot in length. And that 10 foot cable goes to the included transformer here. Uh, so this is a DC plug, so it does have polarity. So we have our red on positive, um, and then our black on negative, you'll see the two indicators right there. Now, if you want a wire that's longer than the 10 foot wire, you can use 18 by two gauge wiring we have here. Uh, and that you can run up to about 98.5 feet. So just real quick to show how that's connected. I'm going to disconnect the included wire from our transformer. Nice and secured, there we go. And as you can see, the included wire has these uh, metal clips uh, right there to make it very easy to install. All right, so we have our custom wire here. I'm gonna put red over to positive. Again, since this is DC, you want to observe polarity. Get that there. Tighten that, secured. Black over to negative. OK, 
Okay, so red, positive, black, negative. And then for the IQ4 panel, <clears throat> so on the inside there's no terminals for wiring, there's only the barrel connector. But the included mounting plate, or the wall plate, does have terminals right here. These do not require a uh, screwdriver. They're just little push downs. And then when these line up, again, you want to observe polarity. So on here, there is a positive and a negative symbol. So let me just connect these. Okay, and black. Okay, nice and secured. Going to reconnect our battery. Okay, battery connected. We're going to reinstall the mounting plate. So it looks like I did forget to feed it through the wiring hole there. So you want to make sure you do that. Let's reconnect these. Okay. Nice and secured. We have it through the wiring feed right there. Reattach that. <clears throat> I'm going to plug back in our transformer. We got our green LEDs indicating the panel is getting power. Let's just wait for it to boot up. Okay, so we're getting power there. All right, so yeah, so again, if you're using the included wire, that's 10 foot in length. If you're gonna use your custom wire like we have here, uh, 18 by two gauge and runs up to about 98.5 feet. And that's about it. Uh, like I mentioned, it could be a pretty simple video today. That's just reviewing the basic information about the power cord or the optional uh, wire run that you can do if you're using your own custom wiring. And again, just to mention, that's gonna be 18 gauge uh, by two and a maximum length of about 98.5 feet. Uh, if you did like the video, please like the video, hit our subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified about any future videos we release. Uh, if you had any questions for us, feel free to reach out as well. We'll be happy to assist you. Our contact phone number is 888-818-7728. We have an email address, which is support at alarmgrid.com. Uh, and if you come to our website, www.alarmgrid.com, uh, we have a live chat option on there as well. So feel free to contact us through any of those three options. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Again, my name is Dylan from Alarm Grid, and thank you for watching.